Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Nosy Southerner. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to be a part of the Nosy family. And don't forget to check out my blog site. It's called the Nosy Southerner.ga for more celebrity and trendy news. I will also leave a link to it below in the description box. And I'll also have a link to it along the screen throughout the video. And I do want to thank all my new subscribers and my old subscribers for sticking around. Alright, with it out the way, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, look, because that's the big elephant in the room. I think everybody's been waiting for us to talk about it. Um, in season one and season two, we were all different, okay? We didn't really know each other that much. It was a new show. Um, and as far as I know, I was sitting at a table with a girl named Tamar Braxton. I had just met th these ladies and I had just met her. I was excited. Now you gotta understand something about me. I've been doing this for a long time. Mm -hmm. I had a production deal with a studio it's, that actually said, let's develop a show for women of color. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. my you already were tied so in. Yeah. I was already tied in, mm -hmm. but I had no type of tie-in as far as the casting, things like that. Because I wanted my own show. That's what I wanted. But the studio said, well, we are trying to do this show about women of color. So why don't you just sit in on the casting? I was like, okay. So I sat in on the casting. These, like, Tamar and the rest of these women were the best. Mm -hmm. The best. We had some of everybody come to the audition. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but they were the best at the end because talk shows hard. Y'all know, you know, the yeah. chemistry and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, we had a different type of um, show back then. Then season two happened, and it was getting better, but there's something that had happened, and I don't know what happened, but I can tell you this. Everybody has a different story with Tamar. My story is this. She was getting to the point where I was at her house one day. This is after Dancing with the Stars, all this other kind of stuff. She looked at me, she said, hey, I want um, to get a, a, a new manager. And I was sitting in her kitchen, and I was like, well, I, you know, I don't know about that. And she said, you know Rashawn McDonald. Rashawn McDonald is Steve Harvey's ex-manager. Mm -hmm. So she said, you know Rashawn, give me his number. I said, okay. You know, because I think she's a very talented girl. Mm -hmm. So I said, here, I'm gonna give you his number. We were sitting in her, and she knows this story. Mm -hmm. She, we were sitting there and she said, well, what about him? And she pointed out saying to Vince, because Vince. Oh. Vince wasn't there, Vince was out the room. And I said, that's your husband, you know, I don't know, talk to him or whatever, tell right. him you want a cold something. But I believed in her, in her talent so much that if she asked me for something, we all sister. Right. When she was sick, we all went to the hospital to see her. We sure did. We, when she, even when her sisters wasn't around, we were around for her. So when the incident happened, when she got fired, I didn't know about it because I went on the Wendy Williams show that Friday. Why would I go on a Wendy Williams show if I knew one of my castmates was going to get fired that next Monday? I got a call on Saturday. They said that Tamar was being let go. I asked the question. We all got on a text and we were like, what, what is going on? What was going on? Was like, what? Oh, we were yeah. calling her. Right. Calling, yeah. We yeah, called her. Calling. She's not picking up the phone. Nothing. Right. Right. Now, remember. The first person, she just, she never, she stopped communicating with us. Mm -hmm. The first person, she she never said, she put out an Instagram that said she had been backstabbed. Mm -hmm. And the first person she unfollowed was me, okay? Mm -hmm. So people assume yeah. that, that you I was the one. Right. Right. And then I know Tamar, because she's a good person. She probably saw all the heat that I was getting. Then she unfollowed Jeannie. Then after a couple of days, she unfollowed these two. These two were still trying to, you know, get in contact with her because yeah. they went to Logan's birthday party. Am I? Yeah. They went to Logan's birthday party to talk to her, and you can you can Google all of this yeah. because they were like, oh, Tamara and 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 Adrian has a play date while these two, you know, because we were getting hit hammered. Yeah. So. When and I was I, in Singapore, and I actually was still yeah, talking she was to her and Vince at the time. But she st the totally stopped. This is the thing. Then, when all of that happened, I get on a plane to go to Atlanta. Who's in front? This is how God worked. Who's in front of me, first class? Her sister, Tawanda. 
Her sister Tawanda said, Lonnie, I am so sorry this is happening to you. You know, you didn't have nothing to do with it. She said, but I'm going to tell you something. They just did an emergency filming of the Braxton Family Values, and you need to see the episode. I said, what are you talking about? She said, you just need to see the episode. I was like, what? Well, I had a person that worked at WeTV. When you're a good person, people will, people look, people people look will come for you. For you. Yeah. The person that worked at WeTV contacted me and said, look, we saw the rough cut of the um, Braxton Family Values. You are being named, the girls are being named, and Vince is doing the naming. Wow. So I called my attorney. I didn't tell these girls this. This is the first time they're hearing this. I, I sat here and I called my attorney. I said, you got to call WeTV and let them know that if they're naming us, we're going to have to have legal action defamation. because we had nothing to do with this yeah, defamation 100%. of character. Mm -hmm. So when you look at that WeTV, they turned around and they did an extra cut. Mm -hmm. But if you Google, you can see that there was a blogger that actually saw the rough cut and it says Vince names us saying that we jealous. He names me specifically. And you know why I say he does that? Because I gave her the number of Rashawn McDonald. Look how that story oh. just so you may not have gotten I was wondering what was you may not have somebody, <laughs> did, somebody clearly didn't like the model, right? No! Oh, oh, yeah. 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 No! Why would she not no. That was we the show? don't know. Yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 above that's, above that's above my pay grade. That's, 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 that's above decision. my pay grade. Right. Yeah. 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 I can Look. decide who's on the show. Dude, okay, let me and then let me tell y'all something. Because we're gonna get this out the open, okay? Everybody here got a different type of contract. Hey, she had four, she had four, she was on four networks. Mm -hmm. We supported her. Yep. Nobody was jealous. Went to Dancing with the Stars. Everything. We were sitting we up there. Tired. I and just we have my go we support tired. her, everything. Go. I just think that she's embarrassed. Go. I think she's embarrassed. <laughs> I think that, you know, she knows the truth. And if and this is the sucks. thing, if you don't like us, if you didn't like us, and you thought we had you fired, why would you want to sit with us when we got all nominated for an Emmy? Mm. See, y'all don't ask the right questions. <laughs> y'all don't ask no, because she goes well, because you know we've been accused of you know she invented the show that was and all that kind of stuff. Right. That That's was because that was not true. That's not all. true. Yeah, none of our numbers have We're, changed. No. Yeah, it hasn't changed. Yeah, and I would find out how she felt about us via Instagram and via Twitter. Yeah. That's how I would find you out. Heard you, man. Let me tell you, this at the at the top at the this is he honest really truth. Invested. He was invested. Mm -hmm. He would help us. He was all about, you know, all of us like getting something from the studio. Something happened and he knows what happened. But he's trying to save face, I believe, because he knows that something had happened with him and Tamar. Either some deal messed up. I don't know. I'm just business. telling you, we didn't, it wasn't like they had a meeting and we tiptoed to the office, let's get it. It wasn't nothing like that. We don't yeah. even have that type of power. Uh, we <laughs> even got our names on the front of the reel. Do we uh, look at the reel? Do you ever see our names on the front? No, no our names yeah. ain't on the front of the so We ain't got no 